For today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here. This look is inspired by this picture of Kylie Jenner that was posted on her makeup artist Instagram page. She did post all of the information of the look down below on that picture, but I didn't have all those products, so I decided to improvise and kind of mix a bunch of stuff together and create this look. So you definitely don't have to use every single product that I used in this video because I was just having fun and trying to get as close to that look as possible. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you do and subscribe and let's go ahead and jump right in. So my eyes are already primed and I'm going to go in with my favorite color ever. This is Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. On an E40 brush from Sigma, I'm just going to buff this into the crease. This is how I start every single video because it's the closest to my coloring on my face. Oh, I was watching TV and something crazy happened. Um, but this is the closest to my skin tone, so it helps to blend out all the other colors without being too apparent that it's there. Then I'm taking Cupcake. This is also from Makeup Geek, and on that same E40 brush, I'm going to put this into the crease, and it's just going to rosy it up a little bit. It's going to add a little bit of pink and almost like blush to the eyes. I really love this color. Next, I'm adding Purely Naked, also from Makeup Geek. And this is like a light brown color, but it has a little bit of a sheen to it. This is just going to warm up the crease area. Usually, we don't put sheen kind of colors in the crease, but I don't care. <laughs> now, I'm adding Simply Marlena to the crease. Just a touch of it because we don't want to go overboard. Now, I'm taking Yogurt. This is a jumbo stick from NYX. And I'm going to put this all over the lid area, and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. This isn't necessary necessary but I haven't used this in a while so I really just felt like using it but it's gonna be a great base for this color which is whimsical this is a foiled shadow from makeup geek and I'm applying it with a 242 brush from Mac this is my favorite brush to apply any kind of foiled eyeshadow because it doesn't give you any fallout and it goes on super super pigmented now I used this eyeshadow this is pink champagne from Anastasia Beverly Hills they're very similar colors I was trying to get as close to the picture as possible so so you don't have to use both colors. You can use either one that you want. And then I'm just buffing out that line with an E35 brush from Sigma with nothing on it. Now I'm going to apply mascara. This is one of the new mascaras from Sigma. So this is my first time trying it out. And so far, so good. Moving on to the face, I'm going to prime with the Smashbox Primer Water. I've really been loving this stuff once I figured out how to use it. And you can also use this as a makeup setting spray as well. So that's very nice. For my foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm in the color Nude, and I'm applying it with this Kabuki foundation brush from Makeup Geek. This is practically the same thing as an F80 from Sigma. For my concealer, I'm using the Light Warm shade in the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Creaseless Concealer, and I'm just going to blend it out with this dome-shaped Kabuki brush from Sigma. Then I'm going to contour the crap out of my face. I have a full in-depth highlighting and contouring video. I will post it down below, but I'm using this Bobbi Brown Cream Contour Stick or Foundation Stick, and then I'm blending it out with this brush from Crown Brushes. This is my favorite favorite way to cream contour and I always blend out my nose contour with my fingers because for me it's just the easiest. Again, something crazy happened on the TV. So now I'm going to go back in with my concealer and I'm going to sculpt out that contour area because we all know that the Kardashians are known for their crazy contoured faces. So I'm just kind of going with that trend right now. And then I'm going to blend out that line because honestly it looked like I had a straight up line on my face and I'm not a fan of that look. I'm going to set my under eye area using this tapered highlighter brush from Sigma, which is my favorite brush to set the under eye area, and I'm using the MAC Pro Emphasize Shaping Powder. And then I'm going to take this Laura Mercier Translucent Powder with a damp beauty blender sponge and I'm going to bake or cook. This is like a new trend in the makeup world. It basically just sets those highlighted areas and helps you to not get oily at the same time. Now I'm going to bronze. I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Achoo and I'm going to bronze my face. I'm using this big powder brush from Sigma to do this and this is just going to warm up my skin. Give me just, I mean, there it is. Just give me some warmth. That's all I need. I'm pale. And then I'm going to contour, so I'm mixing all three shades from the Anastasia Contour Kit with this Eda brush from NARS, and I am chiseling, 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 because again, 
We want to contour like crazy because that's what they're known for. Again, I will have all that info down below if you want to know exactly how I cream and powder highlight and contour and all of that jazz. Then I'm going to go back in with that highlighter brush and I'm just going to basically just blend out all of that powder that we had on the face cooking and I'm also blending out the lines so that they're not super harsh or anything like that. For my blush, I'm using this color called Gleeful. This is a mineralized blush from MAC and it's one of my favorite colors. This is one of those colors that I always use in my eyes for eyeshadow. It's beautiful. Then I'm using this highlighter from Ofra Cosmetics. This is in the color Pink Sapphire. She didn't look super glittery and this is a pretty glittery highlight, but I don't care. I love this highlight. I think it's really pretty. If you have the pink mosaic uh thing thing highlighter from laura mercier it's very similar to that then i'm taking this eyeliner pencil from sephora i forgot the name of it i will post it down below and i'm just putting it in my waterline because she had kind of like a pinky purpley eyeliner in there and then on my bent eyeliner brush from sigma i'm mixing whimsical and shimma shimma from makeup geek to put into my inner corners then I'm taking Cori from MAC on this dome shaped brush from Sigma and I'm just warming up the under eye area and then I'm layering it with Daydreamer. This is another foiled shadow from Makeup Geek because it looked like she had a little bit more purple in there. Again, these steps are not necessary. I was just taking a lot of lengthy steps to try to get it right. I'm adding these lashes from Esquito. These are not voila or Viola for that matter, but these are Lash Lorette. I really like these because they're very wispy and spiky at the same time. They're just very, very flirty in my opinion. I love them. I'm applying mascara to the bottom lashes and then I'm moving on to the lips. I'm using my favorite lip liner, which is Edge to Edge from MAC. This is a rosy kind of lip liner. It's kind of like my lips but better for my coloring. And then she had a little bit more warmth in there and this is a very cool tone lip liner. So I'm layering over top of it the lovely liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is also matte because her lip was also very matte as well. I'm gonna set the whole face using the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray from Urban Decay. Letting that dry and then I realized that I had to take my hair out and it was a hot mess express. So I curled it with a Numi 32 millimeter wand and the look is now finally complete. All right, so that was everything for this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions at all that I didn't answer in this video or in the info box, let me know down below in the comment section and also let me know all of your requests. I love seeing what you guys want to see and also Halloween is right around the corner. It's less than a month away. So let me know all of your Halloween requests on top of it down below in the comment section. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.